This is the crankcase we just cast, and I think it looks really great for our first attempt. All four of the holes that hold the two crankcase halves together cast well. I was able to tap each hole and successfully thread a screw into them, as you can see. The carburetor mounting port also looks really great. The through hole cast well. I was able to tap it successfully, and this is the hole that accepts a screw that holds the carburetor onto the crankcase housing. The top surface that mates with the bottom surface of the cylinder cast well. The finish is very good and I think it mates very nicely with the cylinder face. I'll show that in a second. The transfer port through hole cast well. There is one issue with this feature being that we are missing two holes that should be on either side of this hole in the center. Those holes mount on to the cylinder and correspond with those two holes here. And those three holes are what hold either half of the crankcase onto the cylinder. And unfortunately, as you can see, the two didn't cast. Uh, so that's gonna be an area of needed improvement for my next cast. I will need to find a way to ensure that those two holes do cast successfully like the center one did. But in general, this whole surface looks really great. It has a nice finish and most of the features look good. On the outside of the crankcase, we have a very good finish. There are a few minor defects here and there. However, none of them are major and this is a strictly cosmetic surface, meaning it should not have an effect on the end result of the engine. On the inside, we only really have one main feature being the bearing housing. The bearing housing did have a very tight fit. After a little bit of filing, I was able to get the bearing in. However, once the bearing was in, I did notice that there did become a crack in the housing. I don't know if you can see the crack is very small. It only exists in one location and it is parallel to the axis of rotation of the bearing. It's a very small crack. Like I said, I don't know if you can see it, but it's right about there at the tip of my thumb. In general, the surface finish on the inside is really great. There are no major defects, there are no cracks, and that is really awesome. I can do a little tolerance dash fit test using my plastic prototype of my crank. It also has the connecting rod and the piston on it as well. So I can uh, go ahead and just insert that into here and give it a spin and we can see that the connecting rod does not collide with the crankcase or uh, neither does the, the counterweight, which is Terrific. Obviously, we'll have to do some more fit test with the cast parts, uh, but for now, this looks really great. I'm going to go ahead and attach our carburetor prototype here. This is our plastic carburetor prototype. It's missing some of the final features, but all of the ma mating features of this part will be the same on the final design, meaning it is an acceptable fit test of this part onto the crankcase housing. Just using one screw, there would be two screws typically because we're missing a one case half, but for now, uh, we're just gonna attach this using one screw. The carburetor fits very nicely. It's held on very tightly and I'm very happy with that. We'll obviously have to see how it fits with the cast version, but for now, that it gives a good idea of how it's gonna look and how it fits. It looks really great and it fits very well. I'm now going to go ahead and attach our cylinder, even though we only have one hole to hold the two halves together, it will be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and set these down for a second so I can grab my tiny little screw, get on the tip of my hex driver and insert it into the hole on the cylinder and thread it into the hole on the crankcase half like so. I really enjoy working with this metal because I can tighten the screws much tighter than with the plastic prototype without the, the part breaking. I actually broke plastic prototype of the engine the other day because I tightened some screws too tightly and the whole thing kind of rapidly disassembled itself. It kind of exploded and cracked and uh, I'm glad I can uh, tighten these screws much tighter now. But this looks really great. It fits well. Obviously it will fit better and have a, a tighter fit once all three of the screws are holding uh, the two parts together. But as is, it looks really great. It's a pretty nice fit. There's not too much of a gap in between the two parts. And like I said, when the two other screws are holding it down will also be improved. But that's pretty much it for now. I really have uh, only those two improvements to work on for this specific part, being the two holes that need to be cast successfully, as well as the improvements and modifications on the bearing housing. But for now, everything looks really great. I'm really happy with this for my first successful uh, cast of the, the crankcase housing, or at least this half of it. I am really excited to see this come into existence. 
I know I have had a plastic prototype that's been fully built before, but it's just a lot of more work goes into producing these aluminum parts in terms of the production, manufacturing, and finishing of them. And it's much more rewarding to see this coming into existence. So I'm very excited, motivated to keep it going and uh, get the parts turned out improved and uh, manufactured successfully. So that's it for now. This is Levi Sheridan. I hope you enjoyed, found this interesting and possibly learned something new. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day.